Hello guys, welcome back to another SpaceX update video. With the FAA's Starship licensing review still ongoing, people are speculating that the launch timeline could be between mid to late October. The launch site is eerily quiet right now, as it looks like SpaceX is waiting for the license to install the flight termination system on the vehicle, stack it up, and launch. At Massey's site, Booster 10 performed another cryogenic test on its LOX tank. Last time it was partially filled, but this time was a full load test. Things were looking good, and it will probably roll back to Mega Bay for engine installation soon. At the build site, tiling work on Starship S28 caught some attention. S28's nose cone has two new heat shield panels installed on it, but they're not the normal hexagonal ones. We haven't seen anything like this in the past on any ship, so it's hard to tell what their purposes are. What do you think they're for? Comment down below. Rocket Lab is preparing to launch its ninth mission of the year on September 19th. Capella Space's We Will Never Desert You is scheduled to launch from Launch Complex 1 on the Mahia Peninsula in New Zealand. This mission is Capella's fourth mission with Rocket Lab. Finally, we have some exciting news from Stoke Space. The company has completed its first hop test on its Hopper 2 test vehicle. It was very impressive, as they did it untethered on their first try. It kind of reminded me of the Star Hopper test. Congratulations to the team! Stoke Space's successful Hopper 2 test is a major milestone for the company. It demonstrates that their technology is working and that they are on track to build a fully reusable orbital launch vehicle. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I hope you had an amazing weekend.